YouTube, this is your girl Jay Van coming to you with another review of tea. Yay! So excited about this one. Um, if you follow me on Facebook at www.facebook backslash uh, j.van, you would you're already gonna know what I'm about to review. Some of you have already tried it. I have never tried this, so I'm really excited about this. So let's get started with the tea review. It is Tea talk time! It is tea talk time with your host, Jay Van. I'm sure that has changed numerous occasions since every time I do this. So, today's review is on. Ba, ba, I'm so excited. So, it's Lipton brand. Um, so, many of you are familiar with the Lipton brand, but they have all these new lines of different kind of teas coming out, that are out right now, and I'm going to review on. Wait for it. Wait for it. <gasps> Check this out. It is vanilla caramel truffle. Like, that's exciting. Like, the box is already cool because it already tells me what kind of tea bag is going to be in here. Um, I'm really excited about this. I saw it in the Aoway. It was about, I don't know, like four bucks. Um, I don't have the receipt with me right now shame on me um and I just thought this was so cool like how cool is that it is it's a black tea it's a black tea and it looks like it's a long leaf um it's made with real caramel you get 20 pyramid tea bags not your basic tea bag so I'm really excited about this um yeah, it's a long leaf. Tells you the back. So it's a long leaf tea. So it's not finely ground it, which I'm excited about that. It comes in this little flip box, which is cool. And it stays. Boom. I like that. Now, let's see what the tea bags look like. <gasps> look at this. Uh, let's see here. Look at that. It's like, just like it says, little triangle tea bag. That's real. Oh, I can, oh yeah, I can smell the caramel already. <laughs> I can already smell the caramel. Let me put this back. Look at that. That is so cool. Let me smell it. Mm. You can smell the, the chocolate-ish. The caramel and the black tea fusion. So I wonder how this is going to taste. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. I actually don't like chocolate. But this this looked like something I wanted to try. It smells really nice. I, it smells like it could be like a like an air freshener too. If you just kind of had them hanging around in your apartment. Right? Or your house or wherever you live at. That's really cool. So yeah, this is the tea bag. It's diamond shape, just like or triangular shape, like it says. Um, no staple, no nothing. It looks like it might be like, like a heat, kind of like a heat thing. I don't know, but it's not a staple. It's not looped through, but it's pretty secure in there. That's kind of nice. And then it has the Lipton uh, brand. So how cool is that? All right, so I'm gonna go boil some water and get to the fun part. All right, I'm back. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm also coming to you from my computer again. I haven't gotten around to getting a new camera yet. So video quality is going to be this until further notice. Anyways, okay, back to the review. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> this is the mug I'm using today. This is actually um, a gift I got from my family because my aunt passed away, so, uh, couple months ago so we got these mugs so this is actually a picture of my aunt joanne on a mug how cute is that right this is the mug i'm using today so i got the tea bag inside here's the fun part same pot that i always use oh man look at that can see that but I'm gonna let so, show you guys so it says I don't think it has 
Oh, look, you can have this chilled or not chilled. So that's cool, yeah, options. Um, and it has 20 milligrams of caffeine per serving. And it doesn't say, you know, how sometimes they might have, like, steep for two to three minutes. That's not on here. So that's got... Mmm. It smells good. Yeah, it smells really good. So I'm gonna let that hang out for a little bit. Yeah. I smell more of like a... I smell more of the caramel and the black tea than anything. Nothing else yet. Um... Yeah, that smells real nice. Very pretty. Very, very. Ooh, yeah. And the vanilla. Now, I do like vanilla. Vanilla, I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Yeah, that smells really nice. So, this is what. Look at the tea bag since it's been dipped in, all that stuff seasoned together. Yeah, that's dope, right? This is what it looks like. Look at that. A little lightly colored. So if you, if you can tell, if you can look in my mug, you can tell that it's, this mug has been used on numerous occasions. <laughs> so, yes, it's a, this mug gets a lot of use. Um, that's kind of cool. I, I, you know what? I think, I need to think about what I was actually going to put in this because I was, like, kind of skeptical if, like, if it's sugar, or if you need honey or milk, but I got to thinking I might do milk. We will see. We will see how you guys are trying this along with me today, cause uh, this is a new flavor, not your typical ginger teas or your you know vanilla chai's or whatever. But this is straight up like, what the heck do you do with it? Okay, so I'm gonna taste it without anything in it, no dressing, no nothing. See how it tastes. See, hopefully, I like it. A little steamy. Let's see. Hmm. I can taste the vanilla. I really can't. I taste more, okay, now I taste the caramel, or caramel, however y'all pronounce it, however y'all want to pronounce that, I say caramel, sometimes I might say caramel, it depends, but in other news, um, woo, yeah, I taste more of the um, vanilla, I don't really taste that much of the caramel, as far as the truffle part, I just can't. I can't taste it. I'm not, like, super thrilled with it, but then again, I'm tasting this without any, like, honey or anything in it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try it with some honey and see what happens if it changes the flavor or, you know, fuses all those flavors in together. Um. Sims, honey. Got my spoon ready this time. Stir up here a little bit. Stir it up, little darling. Stir it up. Fan that right? <laughs> All right. Okay, that's. Now it has honey in it. So let's see. Let's give this a whirl now. I was actually expecting these flavors to be a little bit stronger. Like, I was expecting to, like, get hit on my taste buds with, like, the vanilla and the caramel uh, and truffleness all season one. But it's not as potent, I think, as much as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. 
not as, huh. I was expecting more of this like caramel flavor. Like I was gonna be able to really taste each individual flavor that is, that is you know, advertised here. But I can't. But I can't. I don't know. Guys, I don't know how I feel about this one. Don't know how I feel about this one. It's good, don't get me wrong, like it's good, but. I'm not that impressed. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, totally just all right. I'm gonna put milk in here and see what happens. I know I use silk. So let's put milk in here and see what it do. See what it do. I mean, at this point, it's been steeping for like, let's say I've been looking at my clock here, about three minutes, so. Really, nothing. Nope. Like, don't get me wrong. It's good. It's tasty. Um, just not what I expected, in a sense. Um, I'm, I'm, imp I'm not impressed, but I'm not that impressed. I think, like I said, I think because I was expecting more of a, a stronger taste uh but that did not happen but i will still i'll still i mean honestly i bought it so i'm still going to use it so i can use it up um i still will do that but it, oh caramel powder that's one of the ingredients i don't know if that has anything to do with anything though i don't know it's good it's good. I, I will give it three out of five tea bags. Three out of five tea bags. Three out of five tea bags. It's all right. It's all right. Three out of five. What? I mean, yeah. Three out of five tea bags. I'm, I mean, I'm still obviously going to still drink this because it is, it is tasty. Don't get me wrong there. It's tasty. But, yeah. So... That's my review on the Lipton Vanilla Caramel Truffle Tea. Um, it's good. Um, they have more of this collection out that I'm going to give it a try. I had a friend tell me I should probably try the Mango Peach one, which I did see that one, and I almost purchased that one, but I think maybe that's the next one I might do. I don't know. I get so excited when I get in the tea aisle. There's so many different choices, but that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helped you out. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Um, and if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Have a fabulous day. Deuces and tea loving. Bye-bye. <laughs>